the world is shaken up including the most powerful nations the leaders rich people all of them are shaken by the corona virus psalm 16:8 i keep my eyes always on the lord and with him on my right side i will not be moved i will not be shaken i greet you in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ i'm so happy to connect with you again through this devotion if you remember last time i was talking about standing firm and i thought i'll take it little more forward and talk about being unshakable turn with me to psalm 125:1 those who trust in the lord or like mount zion which cannot be shaken but endures forever what a comforting word what an assurance in the midst of all that the world is going through the world is shaken up including the most powerful nations the leaders rich people all of them are shaken by the corona virus it's not just covid-19 alone it's the resultant situation the lockdown the loss of jobs loss of business economic slowdown breakdown and fear of future and so many other things have shaken up people but in the midst of all this you and i have hope when we put our trust in the lord the psalmist says when we put our trust in him we we would stand firm like mount zion it doesn't mean we would not be affected by disease sickness and other problems of this world it only means when they come we would be standing firm you know you hardly uh, ever hear of a mountain being displaced or, or you know moving because of an earthquake or a storm or a flood storms do come and assail the mountains but mountains stand firm you know i hear sometimes some preachers say when you trust jesus as your savior that's the end of all your problems you would not have any difficulty you would not have any sickness and recently i heard someone say corona virus cannot enter the blood washed body of a believer no not at all true the word of god is very clear when we go through difficulties troubles and sickness and various other problems of this world when you trust god you are going to be firm that is all the psalmist is saying the psalmist should know because he faced lions he faced bears and he, they could not shake him up and he faced mighty goliath and he was not afraid and if you see in first samuel chapter 17 verse 11 it says the saul and all the people were afraid because of goliath they were dismayed they were greatly afraid one version says they were terrified but if you look at david's response it is totally the opposite if you go down to verses 45 to 47 he challenges goliath he tells him on his face you come with a sword you come with a javelin and a spear i come with a i come in the name of the lord of uh, the lord of the armies the, lord, the armies of israel the lord of hosts and then you see in verse of uh, 46 he says with confidence this day the lord will deliver you into my hand this day i will strike you down cut off your head and give the carcasses of the philistines to the birds of the air and the creatures of the earth and then the whole world will know there is a god in israel what words of confidence it all results from david's trust in god and surely god did deliver goliath into david's hands and it was not the only time david was many times chased by his enemies saul and his mighty army chased him many times sometimes he even felt overwhelmed even at, at such situations he did not allow that situation to bog him down but he looked up he trusted god and he stood 
fur. You know, I was looking at such number of such verses in Psalm, and I was amazed by the number of such verses wherein David says, "I put my trust in God, and I will not be moved. I will not be shaken, and so on." Let me read a couple of verses for you. Psalm sixteen eight. I keep my eyes always on the Lord, and with Him on on my right side, I will not be moved. I will not be shaken. Psalm sixty two six. Truly, He is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. You know what is uh, David's secret? If you turn with me to hundred and some hundred and twenty one verses one and two, a familiar verse. I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. That is the secret. Looking up, trusting God, standing firm. I want to end this with a real story. You know, in uh, Colorado's uh, national park, Rocky Mountain National Park, there is this big horn sheep. Uh, they have something uh, unique about them. You know, whenever they face danger, their escape route is always uh, up the slope. They never come down. So the visitors to the park would always be advised to go from below if they want to take a photograph. Never come from above because they will be blocking its escape route, and as a result, they might uh, run away. No matter what situation you face today, you know I want to tell you, whatever may be the situation you are in today, God is in control. When you put your trust in Him. You would not allow that situation to bog you down, to pull you down, to shake you up. Remember, as a believer in Christ, for you and me, the escape route is always upward toward God. Loving Father, we thank you for this uh, morning that where we could come together and meditate your word. We thank you, Lord, for your promise. When we trust you. That we would stand firm and we would not be shaken. All those who heard your word, word today, I pray, O oh Father, that you would help them, Lord, to trust you, and as a result, they would not be shaken. I speak that blessing into each and every one of their lives, O oh Father. We thank you. We praise you. Bless this day, O oh God. Give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Trust God and you will not be moved.